So hopefully this is helping you guys if you ever want to do ice racing uh, to determine how, how thick your tire tread needs to be, how long the bolts need to be, how to make a template. I think my template's actually working out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warren and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we're gonna take a little road trip quick. I have to make my ice racing winter tires for the R32. And I was going to use these tires, but my OCD is kicking in. And they all got a little, little, a little different tread pattern. And you see, I have to drill 480 holes total uh, in these tires and I kind of want the tires to look uniform if I'm going to be inserting all of these in there. So I have found a used set of tires similar to these winter tires here and I am going to go pick them up because tomorrow is the drill day. Um, so let's jump into the truck and take a road trip. Why exactly am I getting these tires? Well, you see, ice tires, ice racing tires never really wear it down. Uh, they may break over time. But what I don't want is to have a set of ice tires for three or four seasons that are mismatching because it will screw with my brain. And also, it's a big investment to make ice uh, racing tires. So just the studs alone, and I found a pretty damn good deal, and I looked since I bought this car in uh, June, and I found you could get 96 studs for $64. Uh, so I picked up those, um, and I picked up four, five sets of those. So we're talking about 500 bucks right there. Then you're talking about a set of tires is uh, 200 bucks. And then, well, those are used tires, 200 bucks. And then you also talking about the time it takes to drill all these holes, secure the tires. And that's another, um, I'd say 10 hours. So really, I think I need to get these tires. Well, I've already decided I'm on my way. Um, I will keep these other road tires that I have for uh, track days and wear them down. Obviously they're not the best, but I'm also not a pro driver, so I don't really care at that point. Um, so that's why I'm getting them, a big investment. It will mess with my head if they're mismatching tires and uh, it's gonna take a long time to do it. And I also wanna create a pattern in the tires. And if I create a pattern in a tire, it will, it will go different on every tire that's different. So if I get matching tires, it makes life easy. So that's the long and the short of why I'm getting these tires. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this video is helpful on how to make ice racing tires. So stay tuned. A few moments later. Well, I picked up the tires and they look pretty good. Uh, let me show you quick. So, I don't know, it seemed pretty, Pretty good. Um, paid two hundred twenty dollars. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Seems good to me based on new prices. But anyways, filling up now. Uh, my daily driver currently is an F one fifty, two thousand seventeen, and I have the extended fuel tank. I think it's thirty two or thirty six gallons. Love this thing. I fill it up once a month <laughs> at most. Uh, and. You know, it's terrible when you fill it up because it takes forever and you normally have to dip your credit card twice because it's over a hundred bucks. But I tell you what, this truck, hands down, is the best truck. When I was looking at this, I was looking at the Denali or uh, the Ford and I ended up going with the Ford for a couple reasons. Uh, firstly, the big fuel tank and uh, secondly, the back seat folds up all the way for my dog and then there's air vents in the back for heat. So, and cooling. That's why I chose the truck, so one day uh, I can do a review on this 2017 F-150 if you, if you want me to. Love this baby. Um, yeah. So, let's head to home and uh, start working on these ice ties. Z. 
zeroed out and it says I can get about 564 miles per this tank. Uh, if you're going on the highway, you get about 18 to 20 miles per gallon uh, and you can actually go about 800 miles. Um, if you're going about 55, 60. If you're going 80, you get about 500 miles. So yeah, home time it is. Back at home, uh, now I need to start preparing for, whoa. Nelly fell out. Preparing for where these studs need to go. So, I need to get the outside the uh, diameter. And then I want to put all the studs in a V pattern. And I need them to be equally spaced. Um, and basically make sure I can try keep it as balanced as possible. It's not going to be that balanced, but you may as well try, right? So I'm going to figure out the outside dimension and then template off uh, a V pattern here. Drill one hole, see how uh, I can put the stud in. So if I need to buy anything else, I will be able to quickly run to the store now. Because tomorrow, my plan is to do them all. So let's jump into it. So let's start again. 480 studs divided by four wheels is 120 studs per wheel. Um, then, I said the, the diameter, what I needed is the circumference of the wheel, obviously, and that is, Google says it's 82, um, I just measured, it's a, physically about a 79, so let's base it off 80 inches. Now, if I'm doing the pattern of 5 bolts per V, and I got 120 uh, studs, that's 24 uh, rows or V's. Um, so 80 inches divided by uh, 24 rows, that's every 3.3 inches I need a V. So the distance from each uh, bolt or stud is 3.3 inches so as I said before I'm gonna mark it out with the white uh, marker now and let's jump into it and see what it looks like all right I'm in frame all right what I think is gonna make my life easy is if I find a V shape uh, stencil I can use so the best thing I'm thinking is a right angle don't move tight all right, so I'm using a regular angle here. And what I think I'm just going to do is follow this uh, pattern all the way around the tire. And let me go that side. So essentially, I'll just use this uh, mark center of the wheel, mark one hole, and then we'll go from there. So. I've been told my time lapses are boring, but I don't think you want to watch 10 hours of this. So I'm going to mark out one tire completely and get back to you. All right, guys, well, uh, <laughs> running into a wee bit of a problem. Uh, the guy I bought the tires from obviously uh, wanted the tires to look good, so he put um, wheel polish on it or tire shine, and my marker doesn't like it or stick on it so that's kind of an issue uh i don't really care to wipe these down but i need to figure something out this is going to be tedious and long uh so the best way to optimize my time is spend more time trying to figure out a template here uh more so than um than, than worrying about getting them marked because if I can knock down a template real quick then it'll be much easier to mark all the wheels or at least hold the template drill some holes and then move on to the next so that's what I'm going to try to figure out is how to make a template so let's figure it out all right guys well here I have a, a row done so as you can see I'm going with the V pattern they look a bit short uh, but you know, I guess I'll see during the season. 
they are pretty spiky. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, as I mentioned before, I was too lazy to make a metal template, but this template will not last all these holes. So I need to get some scrap metal and make one of these. Let's see what I have. This is really the only promising thing. Uh, 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 uh. And it looks to be a bit short. So this won't work. I think this is actually pretty good. The plexiglass kind of stuff. So I'm gonna use that. That's why you always keep a strap draw. A scrap draw, not a strap draw. So again, going on the same principle here, I was using this angle. So I need to mark out the holes. And then this is the line. All right guys, let me show you what I've made here. Um, here's my template. I, I've done something a bit different here. So it will always hook onto the bottom two. And then I've drilled this one a bit out in case I need to adjust it as I go down. Uh, why I did that, first I drilled the hole in the wrong place. Um, but it actually makes sense, that way I can adjust it a little. So uh, now I can drill two sets of holes at once, which is pretty good. Um, so let's jump into it. Well, I think I figured out the best process here. Uh, I've mentioned this before. Always great having a TV in the garage. Right now I'm watching uh, Obsessed Garage podcast uh, or listening to it while I do this because this is going to take a long time. But here's how the template works. It latches onto the last two bolts. I, I drill the middle hole and I leave a screwdriver in there. And then I basically hold and push when I drill these holes. So I was able to drill uh, 10 holes just with this template. Um, and I actually don't think, I think I just need to basically put these two bolts in. That way the template lines up every time. Cause I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. You can see the holes there. So, or the dots. The dots are obviously the holes. Um, that I've drilled so I don't need to worry about putting all the nuts or the, the studs in now I'll just do these two then go drill the rest of the holes those two and move on uh, that way uh, I don't have to stop every time to put the studs in so this is the format I'm gonna do I'm gonna see how long one tire takes and go from there this is what I've done so far um, I'm just doing the outside bolts. All the other holes are drilled. I have four batteries and they're all dead. Uh, they all weren't fully charged. Uh, but I've got two charging in here. And then as soon as those two are done, uh, then I'll charge these obviously. But I'm gonna call it for now because I think I got the procedure figured out. <coughs> It's not as bad as I thought with this template, but this is only one wheel. I think I'm three quarters of the way done drilling holes on one wheel. That doesn't even include putting the studs in. So yeah, this is fun. Uh, so hopefully this is helping you guys if you ever want to do ice racing. Uh, to determine how, how thick your tire tread needs to be, how long the bolts need to be, how to make a template. I think my template's actually working out, but I'll know in a quarter of a turn. And yeah, but I think, I think this uh, process is, is down. So I'm gonna charge the batteries. I'm gonna go do some other things and go from there. <laughs> 